Here's a quick tutorial on 10 settings that make your iPhone battery last longer. These are the topics we'll cover in this video. I always change these settings when I'm traveling, and I know I won't be able to charge my phone for a long time. That being said, portable USB chargers are pretty cheap these days, so if you have a lot of busy days when you can't stay next to a wall charger, investing in one of these is one of the best purchases you can make. I'll link a few of my favorites in the description. The one I'm showing here, for example, can charge an iPhone 12 from empty to full six times. General rule of thumb is that the more your iPhone is doing in the background, the faster your battery will die. The easiest option is to go under your battery settings and turn on low power mode. This will disable a lot of background activity and help your battery last longer. It's sort of a one-click fix and it works, but you don't have any control over what gets disabled. If you want to customize your settings and manually choose what's allowed to run in the background, I'll show you a few ways to extend your battery life and personalize your settings to your liking. One of the biggest things consuming the battery is your display. So taking a look at your display and brightness settings is a good place to start. Lowering your brightness helps, and lowering your auto lock time and disabling the raise to wake function also helps to keep your display power consumption to a minimum. Next, we'll check our background app refresh settings. This is a list of apps that are allowed to reload and refresh in the background, even when you're not using the app. This can affect your battery life a lot, so I highly recommend disabling background refresh for any apps you don't need to be running in the background. You can either turn this off universally for all apps or individually pick which apps are allowed to run in the background. Depending on the app, this could affect things like getting notifications for new messages and things like that, so some apps you may want to keep enabled here. I'm just going to disable all the ones I know for sure. I don't need running in the background. Another big one is location services. This is a bit similar to background app refresh, but this is a list of applications that use GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cell towers to determine your geographic location. GPS and location data drains a lot of power, so I recommend disabling this for apps you don't want to share your location with. Or if it's something like Google Maps, where you need location services, you can set it to be enabled only when you're using that application. This way, none of your apps are draining your battery by running the GPS in the background when you're not using the app. A lot of your iPhone's basic functions rely on location data, as you can see here. And again, on the top of your app list, you can switch these off system-wide for all applications with one click if you want to temporarily turn location services off for everything. A couple of things you can quickly change from your control center. Display brightness, but also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings. If you're not using any Bluetooth devices, turning off Bluetooth will help your battery life. Likewise, if you're not using Wi-Fi, your phone will appreciate it if you give it a break and allow it to stop looking for open Wi-Fi networks. The biggest power saver is airplane mode. This will turn off your cellular connections as well, so you won't be getting any calls or texts, but your battery life will see a massive increase. Sometimes, if you're in an area with poor cellular connection, your phone will constantly search for the strongest signal, switching from one cellular tower to another, and this often makes your battery drain pretty fast. If you're off the grid and don't need a cellular connection, turning on airplane mode will save your battery a lot. As I said earlier, anything running in the background will drain the battery, and one background process we haven't covered yet is here. Motion and fitness. This is basically the health and fitness apps on your phone tracking your movement. Your iPhone is analyzing your daily moves, counting your steps, stairs you climb, and things like that, so obviously measuring all that in the background 24 hours a day will affect your battery life. If you want some extra juice left for other activities, you can turn this off. Another background process, once again draining your precious battery life, is Siri. Your iPhone is constantly scanning the microphone, waiting to hear that, hey Siri, command. I like using Siri, but I always do it by pressing the side button on my phone, so I'll tell my phone to stop listening for the, hey Siri, command here. One last thing I'm going to show you is the settings for the mail app and how it's fetching new emails. Again, this is something that runs in the background, and depending on how you have it configured, your mail app might be constantly checking for new emails in the background. 
There are different intervals you can set for each mail account, or you can simply tell your phone to stop automatically fetching emails, and it will only do it when you open up your mail app. There you have it, 10 ways to increase your battery life. One thing that's worth mentioning is that the physical temperature also plays a big role in your battery life. So avoiding extreme cold and hot temperatures as much as you can will help your battery life. Thanks for tuning in. Our subscribe button below is begging for a high five. So go ahead and give that guy a friendly tap. He really likes it.